Hi, yes, so welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. It's currently the evening of the 1st of January 2022. We're entering into a brand new year. I'm hopeful for it. Are you? Did you have a good Christmas? Let me know down below. Over the Christmas period, I've been hankering to make something. And a couple of nights ago, I did some cutting out. So we're all ready to go. Ready to go, we are. So the thing that I cut out, I wanted to get started on this book because I've bought many sewing books over the years and never used them. It's a complete waste of money. This is a great book. So I thought I'd start with the Stanway Tea. A nice, simple a raglan t-shirt, and I definitely need more of those. So what I thought I would do today is challenge myself to make this in an hour. Here is my brand new serger. I haven't used it yet. It's the first time I'm using it. I cannot tell you how great it was to thread. In case you haven't seen my video where I unbox this, I'll leave a link down below. I'll get my phone in a moment and see if I can complete this in an hour we're gonna try do you reckon i'm gonna do it leave me a comment down below right now pause the video and let me know if you think i'm gonna do it i'd be really interested to see your predictions i've seen other people do these videos and i really love them but there's nothing really to be said i cut out a size 20 ef and that's going on the advice of the cashmere website so I initially picked a size 26 and that was way off. Uh, so I went and used a calculator just to make sure and it come up with a 20 EF. So we're going to do that. We'll treat this as a 12 and yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. We're going to get into it. Let's get sewing. I've got my two sleeve pieces. Now I was just using a cut off of fabric and I didn't have enough left for the sleeve. So I made them out of white. Is that going to work? Blue and white? I'm not 100% sure, but we'll find out. And I created a band for the bottom of the sleeves, which isn't in the pattern, but it's something I wanted to do. And I just thought that would tie in the white with the blue. We're setting it at zero and we're starting. There's no right or wrong side, so it's, it should be fine. I hope I'm not gonna mess it up because I'm rushing, but time will tell. If you're new to sewing, you'll want to consult the instructions, but I don't think I need to. Those stitches are way off. Don't know if you can see that. Schoolgirl error should have sorted this out. Ha ha. We got it. Had to move the knife over. So I'm just going to redo this. So it's not perfect, but it'll do for now. Right, that one was a disaster. Clearly still getting used to my new serger. Well, 10 minutes in and I've barely started. That worked much better with the bin on. So lesson, always have the bin on. So now we need to put the other sleeve on. Oh, the stress. Messed up at the start again. This is all my fault. It's not the surgeon's fault, but I'm just going to so that bit so now we've got the main bits attached so what i'm going to do now is sew the underarm let's see what the time is we're at 15 minutes so we still got time apologies if this lighting is not great it is evening i've got a great big yellow light on there i should probably change that shouldn't i let's have that's better, I've sorted the light out, but my phone needed a break. So we've got to put the timer back on. So we were at 16 minutes 44. 
So we will continue now and keep going with the sleeve. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you did for Christmas. We just had a quiet one. We went out shopping Christmas Eve and then we um, we were here Christmas Day and then we had visitors on Boxing Day. Also, did you get any sewing items for your Christmas present? We always hope for a sewing item, don't we? I didn't actually get any this year, but I got some things for the DIY channel, which I was really happy about. All right, that's one side done. Let me know if you like this kind of video or not. Helps me get a top done really quickly. Obviously, I wouldn't do this with a more involved make where I needed to do adaptions, but this is just a twirl essentially. But I'm hoping it's going to be a wearable twirl. Uh, now we've come unfreaded. The joys of sewing. We're nearly 20 minutes in. This is a laugh. We're never going to do it, are we? I'm never that great with seam allowances. I don't know about you, but I never pay too much attention to them. I should learn. Maybe that can be a sewing resolution for 2022. Do you have any sewing resolutions? I haven't really, just to actually sew some more things. I went the other way and didn't sew enough last year, so we're going to aim to be doing a bit more sewing this year. It may not all be on camera, but it will be doing some sewing. Lovely job, Ali. We've got what is looking very much like a t-shirt. So what we've got to do is sew the cuffs on, sew the neckband on, and then do the, what am I doing? And then do the bottom hem. And then we've got our band. Talking of doing some sewing off camera, you may have caught my community post just before Christmas where I talked about the fact, I'll go into more detail in another video about this, but I talked about the fact that I've been chasing views and it hasn't made me happy. And in 2022, I'm going to do more videos that make me happy rather than just trying to get views. Um, and that might include making some videos that are not garment sewing. We'll see how it goes. It'll still be sewing. It'll just be other types of sewing because I've got my other channel for other crafts. Um, but I'm excited to see what it brings. But we'll talk about that more in another video. I'm on the clock here. You wouldn't know it, would you? So I'm just putting the band on here. If you need to know how to attach this band, I do have a tutorial. It's in my Laundry Day Tea Sew Along video. I'll link it down below. We're going to sew the two short ends, then we are put pins in in quarters, and then we'll attach it. Right, how are we doing for time? Look, you can see I'm getting more and more stressed. My hair is getting disheveled. We're halfway there. We might do it, you know. We might do it. Darren's been a uh, good boy. He's in the other room. He is playing on his computer game. Can't remember what one it is. It's like ball crushes. So he's being quiet so that I can film how sweet is that. Got pins in quarters. So need to find the quarters on here. I always like to put the join in the center back so that when I'm putting it on, I know which is the front and which is the back. Once I've pinned it, what I like to do is just stretch the two pieces of fabric together to see if I'll go in without too much trouble. I don't know if you're going to see that, but it doesn't stretch as well as the other side. So I clearly haven't got them even yet. That looks better. So now we can sew that. We're at 35 minutes. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Needles come unfreaded again, so we're going to have a break. The hair's gone up. Things are getting serious now. We've got to get on with this. I've cheated a little bit. I've re-threaded without the clock being on. But we've got 20 minutes left, so I've messed up my neckband. 
but we'll get there. Something I learned when I messed up my v-neck was if it feels wrong under the serger, stop sewing. Do I learn my lesson? Answer on a postcard. I think we all know. I've completely messed this up. I'm going to have to cut another piece of fabric. This is going to massively eat into my time. Not to, men not to mention my neckband. Look, we've got that much on and it's just not working. That's off. You're never going to catch me unpicking a neckband. It's just life's too short. Right, I've got to find the fabric and cut another piece. I'm making the neckband a little bit wider this time. So we've got more room to play with. Right, I've got my neck piece again. Let's get back to the machine. We've got a quarter of an hour left. This ain't good. Right, we're not threaded again. What is going on with this? Right, I've come completely unthreaded now. I'm going to have to stop the clock because there's just no way otherwise. Now I'm going to re-thread. We are back in business, so we will have to continue from here. So we've got 12 minutes. So let's dry this again. So now we're back at the position where we've got to sew the neckband. I've got eight minutes. I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to take my time. Do neckbands bother you? They bother me. I hate doing them. I hope this isn't crinkled when we get back round. This just is not going to work. I've got a couple of tucks there because I didn't distribute it perfectly. But we're going to go with that. We've got a neckband on. I need to put the other cuff on. Hiya, yeah, so it's a little a bit later. I've pretty much done it now. Uh, my camera died, so I went off camera and reattached the neckband. It's better, but it's not perfect. Um, but this is a 12, so it's fine. Like the challenge was a complete and utter disaster. Um, I'm not completely finished. I haven't hemmed it, but I'm probably not going to hem it because I'll wear it tucked in or just at home or something. It's got a band on the actual sleeves and that's got both back. It's got a band on both sides there. This neck is wide. I cut the band off twice in the end off camera. Well, I didn't record it, so that is cheating a little bit record the time I mean but other than that it's just done it's so easy raglins are so easy let's have a look at the time so we've got one minute and two excuse the my phone is filthy we've got one minute and two so I went just over the hour that I challenged myself to however the serger thread broke so many times I should have tested it out before I started. This was the very first time that I had used my serger. So probably if it wasn't and I was more used to it, it would have taken off quite a lot of time. I had to recut the neckline as well, the neckband, I mean. So I probably would have done it in the time if I didn't come up against problems. Now let's sit down because I need to have a chat before I show it on. So when I was working out the size that I was going to need, I worked out 26D or DCD, I think it is. Um, and I was, I was really questioning myself. So I went to the Cashmere calculator and that told me I needed a 20EF. Now, I wasn't convinced by this. I really wasn't. I thought 20 is far too small for me. Even though when I double checked the measurements, I could see where the calculator was coming from. And I thought, well, it's a 12. Let's go with it. We'll go with what they say and see. But no, it was far far too small so do be aware if you are using that calculator it's probably partly to do with the stretch of the fabric because I didn't really check the stretch although it is cotton jersey so it's got a good amount of stretch here well let me just show you it on bear in mind I've cut the neckband a couple of times so it is a bit wider than it would be so you can see that this is far too tight for me 
and it's got all these lines here are there it might be I might have stretched the fabric as I was sewing the two seams the neck band's far from perfect so we'll ignore that but you can see it across the bus you've got all these lines here it's far too tight I need at least a 22 maybe a 24 at the bodice I did grade out till 26 at the hips which is nice fits nicely now the arms are too tight I definitely need a bicep adjustment on this and I might find once I've got the bicep adjustment this bit sits a bit nicer but as I say this is a 12 I'm also on a weight loss plan now new year new me so it will fit eventually if not it's going to be some nightwear because it's it is it's quite snug but it is cozy and this was a fabric that i used for another project but i haven't finished yet so i got two projects out of one piece of fabric so that's pretty good and this was just a rib knit that i had in my stash that's everything we attempted to make this t-shirt in an hour i failed but only just i hope you enjoyed this video and you've got something out of it if not education then a bit of entertainment let me know have you made a top in an hour before i've done it before when i'm not filming moving the camera around different angles trying to make sure that it was engaging for you guys making sure the mic's working all the rest of it so i'm pretty happy with what i achieved and we've got another toll in the bag i'm gonna have to perfect this now and i will keep perfecting it until I get it how I want. I just need to buy some more jersey fabric because I've got none. Anyway, if you like this video and you did get some value out of it, do consider purchasing a coffee for me. The link will be down below. Also give me a like, a subscribe, a comment, all the things. Check out my video that I did last time, which is some home truths for home sewing for plus size people. You guys love that video. It got 10K views, which is amazing. So if you haven't seen it, do check it out. Let it grow a little bit more. Don't forget to see what I'm doing over on the DIY channel. Next video up on the 4th. Bye.